Hello, within technical analysis, we've got the Mac, MACD indicator, and these are some simple effective tips when using the MACD. So first of all, you have to start out, in my humble opinion, with the higher time frames to get a better look at what's going on and eliminate the noise. I'm looking here at an example of USD JPY, and the MACD is down here. We are set on its default settings. I'm on trading view. So uh, you can double click on that and you can see the fast uh, line. The blue line is the 12 moving average uh, and uh, the, the slow one is 26. I would uh, keep the, uh, the default to start out with the default and don't change them. And on the weekly, you can notice that we have this recent crossover. Okay, this is on October. Now, let's say that we are uh, we are there, and we are not sure if uh, this is something to act upon. For example, take a short. So first of all, I'm putting it exactly where the crossover is, and we want to wait also for the weekly candle to close we don't want to do that before it closes that way we get a confirmation and even if we have this little crossover i'm putting the vertical line here so this is this candle over here and it shows me that i at least need to be looking out for uh, something for a change in, in a trend Okay. It might bounce, bounce back up, but the next candle or the beginning of it, which I don't need to wait for it to close, already shows me uh, some direction. Now, looking at a smaller time frame, uh, we can see that, for example, when the price moved from this high over to here, see, because this, this line over here, this might be this blue line is higher than this one. So we have uh, basically a lower high. But during this period, which, you know, mark, mark uh, these highs again, more or less here and here. So this is a divergence. This is the tip also mentioned. While one is going down, the other one is going up or vice versa while the MACD is going up, the price is going down. So in this case, uh, we see that, and this is the line that we had before, that before uh, that period, we also had the divergence, uh, in this case, a bearish divergence. So once we're here on the weekly again, we can look back and see that it basically uh, strengthens our case that there is about to be a reversal. Now, you can also use MACD not as a standalone, but as support for other things. So, for example, here, I'm downtrending still with uh, the USD JPY. And I can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to look also at uh, blending some lines. Let's put a line over here. Uh, different algos will and traders will draw different lines. I can make it uh, to this top, and then this one was a bit of a piercing, uh, or I can make it to this top, uh, and both are legit in this case, in my opinion. But let's work with this. So I'm saying I want to see two things. I want to see that price goes above here, and also then I want to check my. Mac the situation. I want to check my histogram that it's getting dark green and rising. I want to check that my fast blue line is above my orange. And what I don't have here yet, I want to see that both of them, or at least the blue line, is also above this zero line. Now, some may say, okay, I don't want to wait for it to be above the zero line. I'm, I'm happy with this crossing. And I'm happy with just this trending up and the blue line being over the orange. That's fine. Those that will wait for those all together to be also above the, this zero cross line 
will get an additional confirmation. However, because there's always uh, a risk versus reward and a trade-off in trading, then that means then that they will be entering a little bit later and going for a lower reward versus risk while winning a higher probability to win in the trade. Okay, so, but this example shows you that you can use the Magadine as a standalone, but also with something else indicating, in this case, this is my line in the sand, this is the uh, resistance. I'm assuming that other traders and algos will be drawing a similar line. And once, for example, two daily candles, consecutive daily candles close above it, close above this resistance, it will trigger them also to take longs on USD JPY. I can confirm my momentum through the momentum indicator of the MACD and I'm good to go probably in this case. I'm saying probably because technical analysis, you have tools that increase your chances to exempt, for example, to 60%, 65%, 70%, 75%, etc. And there is no 100% because we're all looking at delayed data uh, and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow that is not happening on the graph but there is still uh, um, value in things like momentum which is uh, one of uh, where the macd indicator lives in trade uh, at your own risk do return to forex live for additional perspectives we've got some nice technical analysis we've got news and education and have a 